there's many things that are amazing about this dojo. Uh, starting with like a state-of-the-art facility and the knowledge that is crammed into uh, the people who train here and the people who teach. But if I had to pick one thing, it would, it would for sure be the sense of community and, and the sense of family surrounding the people who train here. We just returned from the uh, national team training in Toronto. Uh, now we're just getting our pre preparations ready for the Pan American Championships in Buenos Aires. I'm feeling prepared, mentally, physically. From Alberta, I believe we have five uh, athletes going, and from our dojo, we have three of those five. I guess it's a lot more training. I'm on the Karate Alberta national team. I'm on Team Canada. Our youngest guy is uh, Gabriel Mata. He, this is his first time uh, on the national team. He's 12, and then we have our second youngest, Carlos Araujo. He's 17, it's also gonna be his first time, and then there's myself, I'm 20. This is going to be my fourth time going to the Pan American Championships. My parents knew the sensei, so I came to try out some classes, and I really liked it. And I guess now I'm at a competitive level. I have my family at home, and then I have my dojo family. The difference between other dojos compared to ours is not only like how close we are and how much of a family and how welcome we are, we also have like another level of commitment Coming to Calgary for karate was a, was a really big decision for me. I, I had to, uh, I left my family and my home and, and everything that I had built up for myself back in British Columbia. After seeing the Osana Karate Dojo and, and training here a couple times, uh, I knew that this was a place that they were going to really train me right down to my bone and really make sure that I was prepped for the next nationals and hopefully Pan Ams and Worlds in the future. They want to be a champion, so they are training like a champion. Personally, I think our dojo is different because we're closer, not only like um, karate-wise, but outside the dojo, we also always are with each other. So that builds like a chemistry that I don't think other dojos really have. Karate for me has uh, improved the way I move and my mobility since I was a little kid because I've been doing karate ever since I was four years old. When I think of Osuna Dojo Karate, uh, we, I think of family and I think of a lot of hard work. It made me more agile, more mobile. It also helped me grow and learn how to, learn how to make new friends outside of uh, our dojo because you also have to be close with the team in Team Alberta. There will be a lot of training, I guess. Physical training, technical training, mental preparation. I want to go out there and win. Yeah. For the past four years, I've started to uh, really ramp up my competitive level. Uh, so what that means is you have to go to the dojo more often. You can organize private trainings and things like that. And then you also have to go to the Team Alberta trainings, which are about once a month, and they're like all day. When I'm outside, just not doing anything, I think about karate. That's my first, that's what I think about 24 seven. That's my like passion that I think about. I'm heading to the Pan American Games and I made the national team for Team Canada. I'm hoping to bring a Pan Am medal home for Osuna Karate. My heart is with you guys. You just try to do it your best and just believe in yourself. Remember, never stop believing. You can do it, you can be the best. So I was giving bad attitude and I, it was obvious that I didn't want to be there. Sensei Juan kicked me out of the class and I didn't come back for a couple of weeks. But then I realized that what happens if I come back? And now that I have, and now I'm addicted to it, I want to be able to be world champion one day and maybe Olympic champion too.